Hello, my name is Paul, and this is my submission for CS50 AI Project Minesweeper, where we have implemented an AI to play the classic Windows desktop game Minesweeper. So in order to do this, I have completed the various required methods of the sentence class and the Minesweeper AI class. And so now um, we should be able to have the AI play a full game of Minesweeper by itself. Um, it's not guaranteed that the AI will win uh, because it doesn't know where any of the mines are and depending on the knowledge it receives throughout the game um, it has to sometimes pick a random move um, which may or may not end up on a mine. Um, other, if, it, if it has guaranteed safe moves it will always pick them but otherwise it might, if it has no safe guaranteed safe moves available it might uh, randomly end up on a mine square. Um, I have actually um, added to the um, random move selection uh, method so that if it has no knowledge available to it it will just randomly select any cell because they're all equally valid however if the, it does have some knowledge about uh, the probability of a mine being in a set of cells the AI will try to pick a cell with the lowest probability of having a mine in it. Um, so that's the theory anyway. Um, let's see how it does. So let's play a game and we'll just play some AI moves. So um, AI move. Um, so it's found this square with two. So in theory now, because it's, it knows that there's two mines in these five cells um, and then seven mines are left in the remaining cells, it won't actually pick one of these uh, cells for its random move which it's going to do next um, because the probability of a mine is lower in all the other cells apart from these ones so let's see if it does another one okay it's gone there it still doesn't have, no, have any safe safe moves yet um, so it's going to pick another random move and if, wow it's going to do uh, another random move if I click this and again it's not getting very lucky to find uh, a zero a cell to start with here. It's still not very lucky. Oh, and it's actually lost. So this is showing a losing game um, where it's been unlucky and has just had to randomly select cells and unfortunately has ended up on a mine. So let's reset, see if it can get more lucky. Oh, very unlucky for that one. Let's try one more. Okay, so now it's gotten a good start and it knows that all the cells around this zero are safe. So it has some safe moves that it will make. And as I click through this, um, and I'll also try to keep track of whether it, the AI has managed to infer. Okay, so it's managed to identify mine in position one, two. So it knows there's a mine here. Um, and if we keep it moving, It managed to find another mine in zero three. So it knows that there must be a mine here as well. This one has two and it already knows there's a mine here and now there must be a mine here as well. So we can just keep clicking, keep clicking. It's found three mines now, four mines. It's actually found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It knows where seven of the mines are now. Um, still seven mines. And if I just click through this quite fast now, it will just it has a lot of safe moves it can make. I don't one two three four five. Six. Oh, so it actually knows where all eight mines are now, but it'll keep the AI. Either I can mark the mines myself, or I can just keep clicking this, and it'll keep picking all the spaces it now knows are safe until there's only the eight left, and it has won the game. So, yeah, uh, the AI, uh, given a good starting position, can can win the game when it's not having to randomly pick cells all the time. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, see you on the next project.